Hey y'all, let's take a look at, oh boy, look at this. Addition of like terms and rational expressions. <sighs> what a long title. Well, we know how to act, right? We can do addition. We can do that, all right? Like terms, you know what those are, right? 2x plus 5x, 7x, right? We know that. Rational expression, that's just a fraction, right? A ratio is a fraction. Not that big of a deal. We know what those things are. So once we know that, we know what to do. And here's a little trick to it. These look complicated, and go ahead and pause and copy if you need to. But they're not that bad. Now, if you notice, we, you know, we know how to add like terms. So, you know, we can, we can do that. But uh, let's take a look at what we need to do here. Well, this looks pretty goofed up, doesn't it? So let's take a look. Uh, what we can do is, and I would highly suggest that you do this. Just pick something, numerators or denominators, and shove all the uh, variables, excuse me, yeah, shove all the variables to one or the other. I think most kids like to do it in a numerator so they can just kind of see it and not have any fractions or whatever. So let's just look at these two ratios. This is a rational expression. It's an expression because it's not an equation. There's no equal sign. We're not solving for B. We're just mashing them together as an exercise, right? We're adding, you know how to add like terms. That's what we're doing. Okay, so let's go ahead and we are going to just move everything to the, to the numerator. And if you want to, for the rest of the time doing this, just mash them all in the, in the numerator. All right, so let's take a look. First one, we're going to move this up here. So that's going to be a to the negative third, and then we'll have b, we'll call it b to the first, because that's b to the first. Then we'll have, once this goes up, that turns into b to the third, right? Okay, so this becomes, if we want to think of it this way, a to the negative third times b to the fourth, right? Okay, plus, then we have 2b to the fourth, and if we move this up here, that turns into a to the negative third. Make sense? Okay. Well, look at these. Are these like terms? Well, a to the negative third, a to the negative third, b to the fourth, b to the fourth. Yep, they're like terms. They match. So in other, if there isn't a number there, you know there's a one. So I have one of something plus two of something. That gives me three of something. So that I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in... Uh, alphabetical order, a to the negative third, and then b to the fourth, and that is my answer. Okay, now in the back of the book, their answer, you might look back there, and they have this as an answer. 3b to the fourth over a to the third. If they do, fine, who cares? That's the same thing. All they've done is take this and go and made it into an a to the positive third. So, doesn't matter. In fact, you might even get to a point where you go, well, I like to see all the um, exponents as positive values. It's just easier for my, for my head. It doesn't intimidate me so much. Fine, go right ahead and do that. We could have done this one. And if you had done that, we could have done this up here and gone, okay, well, fine. That's going to be b to the fourth up there. And then if I move this a to the negative third down, that turns into a to the third. And then look, you have plus 2 b to the fourth, a to the third. Then you, you could go, wait a minute, is this a like term? Let's see, b to the fourth on top, b to the fourth on top, a to the third on the bottom, a to the, yep, that's a like term. They're both like terms. There's one of them, there's two of them, that gives me three of them with an a to the positive third on the bottom. Sure, same thing, no big deal. Don't forget, you know how to mess with the fractions, okay? You know how to, uh, you know, add like terms, and you know how to take one an exponent like x to the negative 10 and go, I'm going to turn it into x to the positive 10 down there. Or x, you know, or x to the 12th down here, you move it up, you go ooh, x to the negative 12th. That's all you need to be able to do. Okay, let's try another one. Copy and paste this one. There are three of them, three terms this time. And okay, why don't we just for the heck of it, let's go ahead and uh, let's make everything a positive exponent. So we have no negative exponents to, to look at and to like, feel sick to our stomachs with until our mom starts chasing us around the house with essential oils. Wait, what is the peppermint oil is the stomach ache, right? Okay, so have that handy when you're doing algebra, stomach ache. Lavender is, what, what is that, a cut or something? Okay, tea tree is a, that's the broken pelvis, right? Tea tree, oh, I forget which one it is. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna copy my seven. I don't like that a to the negative third. I'm keeping the b squared. The a to the negative third, I'm moving down here and turning into a to the positive third. This, I don't like it. I go up here. 
and I swig my peppermint oil and move it up there. You see how that's the same thing? That makes sense? I've just moved it, that's all. Okay, I'm gonna go minus, I'm keeping my five, I'm keeping my B squared. The C to the negative one goes up there, that's a C. And the A to the third is just the way it is. So this is looking good. Look at those two. B squared C over A to the third, B squared C over A to the third. That matches, so that those are like terms anyway, okay? So I got three B squared there. A to the third is A to the third, and then C to the, that's, okay, oh, we're already good. But uh-oh, this is not good, at least to add. You see how this is different? I got my B squared, B squared. A to the third, A to the third. But the C is on the bottom instead of on the top. So if I were to move that up there, that would turn into C to the negative one, which does not match C to the positive one. So this is not a like term to anything, even though it has a lot of the same variables and the same exponent, not, it's not the same thing. So what we can do is we can go seven of something minus five of something. That just gives us two of something. And that's what we'll put here. That's just gonna be a two. And this is as far as you can go, that's it. You can't add those two together, they're not the same. The C is on top and the C is on the bottom. They're not like term, stop right there. That's it, that's about as hard as it gets. So, all right, the second kind of problem we're doing in lesson 41 is two-step problems. So this is a piece of cake though, really easy. Um, if x plus three equals seven, what is the value of x minus eight? Well, all you need to do is go here, so I'm gonna solve for x, subtract three from both sides, x is equal to four. Since x is equal to four, what's the value of x minus eight? Well, that means I'm trying to find out what the value of four minus eight is, and the answer is negative four. Piece of cake, right? Okay, here's another one. If x minus five is seven, what's the value of x plus four? Well, that's a piece of cake, you just add five, x is equal to seven plus five, so x is 12. What's the value of 12 plus four? 124. 12 plus four is 116. Good enough, all right. Okay, real quick, the, um, before we do the practice set, don't forget, you can move these any way you like. You can put them all in the numerator if you like to just see them all right next to each other, nice and neat like that. You can put them all in the denominator, I don't care. You can make them all positive if somehow that soothes you, so you don't have to be running for the peppermint oil, swigging that for all, for you know all that kind of stuff. So anyway, all right, go ahead and try A and pause it and come back. Okay, A is four y x to the negative two minus five x y, and that's as far as you can go because even though these have an x and a y, they're not like terms because the exponents don't match. Exponents have to match, exactly even as negatives or positives together to make that a like term. Okay, pause it and try B. Okay, B, there is your setup. Okay, that's as far as you can go. You have negative three A to the negative eight, B to the 11th, plus six A to the negative eight, B to the sixth. Now, again, you might have had yours to where you had three, and then on the bottom, you had A to the positive eight. And over here on the bottom, you had uh, A to the positive eight. Totally fine. However you like to do it, it's totally fine. All right, pause it and try C. Okay, C is just negative two, right? Max equals negative two, All right? Pause it and try D. All right, there's your D. X is equal to five, okay? Hope that helped. Uh, if you didn't quite get it or need some more help, go back and watch the lesson again. And don't forget, all you are doing is simply adding like terms. They have to all match exactly. However, it makes the most sense for you, it makes it easiest for you. If you like everything in a numerator, do it that way. If you like everything in the denominator, do it that way. If you like all positives and you don't care where they are, do it that way. Whatever makes it easier for you. Just make sure that you realize when you check your answers, they might not look exactly the same, but in your head, you know, move the, uh, you know, the variable and the exponent up or down if you need to make sure it matches that way, you'll be good to go. So anyway, all right, you guys have a great day. See you next time.